Well, yeah, I'd be sick of that, too. <laughs> Harley Quinn first appeared in Batman, the animated series, in 1992. She was such a beloved character, she got her own comic book one year later. Margaret Robbie stole the show when she played Harley in 2016's Suicide Squad, and now she's getting her own movie. Twin Cities Live's movie guy, Paul McGuire Grimes, flew to London to chat with the stars. I'm here in London for the world premiere of Birds of Prey. This is the new DC movie. It stars Margot Robbie, who is reprising a role of Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. And this movie is going to be a blast. I told this all wrong. Quick history lesson. This all started when the Joker and I broke up. It was completely mutual. Was there a side of Harley that you really wanted to make sure that you, we saw in this movie that we just didn't see in Suicide Squad? I thought it would just be fun to see her in some everyday relatable scenarios. Like, what does Harley do in a breakup? Does she cry into a pint of ice cream? Does she go to a club and get drunk and make an idiot of herself? Yes to all of the above. Does she blow up a chemical plant? Sure. Maybe we don't all do that, but I, uh, I, I thought it would be fun to kind of see a side of Harley. Because in Suicide Squad, she's on a mission, you know, she's She's kind of not in her element. Isn't this fun? It's just like a sleepover. <gasps> we should order pizza. Big puzzle. Did you guys all come naturally to the action, or was there a good training process or rehearsal in place? It was a very long training process. Yeah. A total of five months, a few months prior to shooting and then during shooting. But I think at least we all come from a background that it, it did come naturally. It was hard, yeah. but yeah. like, you know, Rosie's a dancer. Journey's got, I don't know, you seem I work like out. you were like, you're in shape, <laughs> you're tough. I used to dance, so it didn't really seem like it was particularly hard for anybody to pick up the choreography. Does yeah. it still feel like work when it's this much fun and it's kind of playful Yeah, it was definitely not work. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty amazing. I mean, I definitely was like, I would do this for free but, any day. <laughs> yeah. The movie has a, such a great soundtrack. Like, I was kind of like dancing in my seat to so many of the good jams yeah, in it. What cool. do you listen to to pump yourself up before a scene or just in life? In this instance, there are certain songs that I feel like Harley would listen to depending on the mood she's in. I think she listens to a lot of Enya when she needs to calm down. <laughs> I think she loves Nina Hagen because she's, you know, kind of sees herself in her. We had um, playlists made for us by Kathy, the director. She made character playlists for everybody. So I did, like, on the drive to work, I would throw on yeah. the Huntress playlist. That yeah, I didn't, I didn't like my playlist. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I didn't. Psychologically speaking, vengeance rarely brings the catharsis we hope for. Yeah. Are we ready? Birds of Prey, the demographic is unlimited. Um, it's, it's, it runs the gamut, you know. Young, young girls and boys are gonna love this, and people of a certain age, like my age, are gonna love this as well. Everyone's gonna be screaming like, yeah, badass, let's go. So. <laughs> there you go, Rosa Perez. <laughs> So, so, so Paul's back from London and uh, <laughs> Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn yeah. is in theater. Yeah. So we want to know, I know you love that experience and you loved hanging out with them, but then you see the movie and what'd you think? It, this is a blast from start to finish. It and I is. really hope that people go see it because we don't get a lot of like, all female girl gang action yeah. flicks. And this really allows that. We have a female director, a female screenwriter, an all women's soundtrack. Wow. So we should go support these kinds of stories. And it's fun. <laughs> it's funny, it's bright, it's flashy. It's unlike a lot of the other DC movies that we've seen of late that are really doom and gloom. There's so much going on in this movie, you can just I see. It's nonstop. It's nonstop. And that's what's really great. And the cast loves working together. And you can really feel that chemistry between them. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool. And Rosie Perez, I mean, can you stand it? Oh. So so good. And we don't get a lot of like diversity in these types of movies. So this is really a celebration of diversity and yeah. sisterhood all in one you can action. Tell Rosie is revered by that crew. Yeah, see, right? Like, go see like this that. movie. That yeah. is so good. Okay, so how many tickets? So four out of five tickets for Birds of Prey. Wow. It's fantastic. I hope we get more of these. It, they're really great characters. And I think with Margot Robbie, I think she really brought this to the big screen. She wanted to make this kind of movie. Do you have to have seen Suicide no. Squad to get who she is? No, 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 not okay. at all. Okay. They explain Perfect. in the beginning because she breaks up with the Joker and then it's really her story and the birds of prey Good. in this whole movie. Because you know me, oh, I haven't awesome. seen anything. I have no idea what's going on. You I saw Batman that. back when you were a kid. I definitely yeah. did. Oh, I am getting really good at Star Wars. So yes, yeah, we'll good. About later. Hey, there you go. All right, this is cool. Paul's going to have an Oscars recap on 5 Eyewitness News this Monday morning at 640 and on 45 TV at 710. And you can also visit Paul's website, paulstriptothemovies.com, for more movie reviews. And we've